round of 16 at the FIBA Basketball World Cup, Team USA versus Mexico. Hi, everybody. Kevin Connors, Fran Fraschilla, delighted to be with you. Group play is over. Every game from here on out is win or go home. Your starting lineup. James Harden, Fran, coming off his best offensive game of this FIBA World Cup of Basketball. He will be, I think, the go-to guy when Coach K needs a bucket as, the, as these games start to tighten down the stretch. But they're going to be out athleted today. And in order to keep that from being a huge factor, they must take care of the basketball. Meantime, for Coach K and Team USA, uh, them playing well today means what? I, I really think it's got to start with guard play and ball movement and uh, great shots as opposed to good shots. Team USA, the home team, wearing the white uniforms. Anthony Davis drops it off at another easy basket, as we've seen most of this tournament for Kenneth Fareed. Yeah, transition. Here is Gutierrez pushing all the way, sent back by Davis. Irving in transition all the way. No one stopped the ball, friend. Well, you got to be concerned. See, after that initial couple possessions, it's all been isolation basketball right now. And that's not going to matter against Mexico. It really isn't. They're going to Gustavo Ayon and Fran has talked about the front court play for Team USA, and they're shooting it at such a high clip. Well, they really are. They're dominating the offensive glass. They're getting out in transition. They're catching lobs and pick and roll. And we've seen a, a you know, we've seen a, and not that we've been been impressed with it because he does it during the season, but Anthony Davis's ability to make shots from the mid range. But now, to your point, Fran, he really is emerging in this tournament as. Uh, the three-point and 11 of 19 behind the arc. Look at Anthony Davis come up with a steal and throw it down with two hands. U.S. looks to push. Terrific start for Team USA. Harden fouled on his way to the back. Played for the Atlanta Hawks last year before injuring his shoulder. I have a feeling as Steph Curry knocks it down that here. And Mexico, Kevin, is in a zone and, and watching them on tape. I can only remember it's three points. Kevin Connors, Fran Fraschilla, thrilled to be with you from Barcelona, Spain. One, two fouls on Cousins as the uh, jumper is misfired by Hector Hernandez. Clay Thompson pull up three. You know, I was talking. Well, this is a rhythm three off the break. That's a mid range jumper for him during the season. And as we mentioned, both he and Stephen Curry have really started to shoot the ball well. But you've been impressed not just with Klay Thompson shooting, but also his defense. And that's what he... Steph Curry looks to push it into the forecourt. Here's Curry behind a Davis screen. What a gorgeous two-man game. Yep, and that pass by Paul Stoll. He's a young guy that's from Lansing, Michigan. He had one Division I scholarship coming out of junior college at Texas Pan American and then realized the whole shot clock to get good shots. And then you got Steph Curry with banging a jumper and then the steal. Gives it off to his teammate, Clay Thompson, running the floor in the University of New Mexico. Academic All-American as well. There's Clay Thompson, Fran. He's been looking for a shot. In everybody's mind, including Coach K's, by the way. It's something I think he learned a very hard lesson in 2006 when he, quite frankly, didn't really even know some of the names of the players. Irving. Drawing a pair of defenders, wild shot. There's Fareed, so active for Andal Lowe. And, and an open Steph Curry shot is usually not a bad thing, by the way. But they're also not getting any ball movement versus the zone. Here's Harden off the steal and all the way. Those three steps like you get in college with the NBA. <laughs> There's Harden drilling a three and the U.S. lead is up to force a turnover right off the jump and then give it right back. Here's Harden. Curry drops it off to Kyrie Irving. Good start for Team USA. Good ball movement that time. Curry fires the three. <laughs> you see them pointing and talking. So that means you've got to switch on to this guy. Off the dribble. Yep. yep. He has the ability to do that, friend. And he's Cruz has it stripped. U.S. wants to push. They've been so good in transition throughout this game, and Curry is in a zone. Yep. And what you love of this one.
Watch him in transition now. He's been a willing passer, but that's, you know, you're giving him a mid-range NBA jumper right there. But it counts for three in FIBA play. A basketball junkie. Steph is a much better ball handler than his dad, and I don't think his dad would mind me saying that. Oh, he's got him inside. And here with three minutes to go in the third quarter, so what do you want to see over these final 13 minutes? You just want execution. You know, you want team play, which has not been an issue, really. Uh, you know what? Gay falling away. Look at Cousins work down low. Up zone is, it's hard to tell, but that's what they called on that play. Look at Rudy Gay attack the basket. The bracket. And now they have a chance to medal if they get to the semifinals because the likelihood is they were not going to beat Team USA about uh, the Aussies doing that. By the way, Lithuania would have thrown their game with Slovenia had Australia beaten Angola. I can guarantee you that. Now, Mexico's not throwing this one. It's just the, the Team USA barrage. You never know. Foul trouble. We've seen that. Gasol in, in, uh, in 12 in the Olympics. Marc Gasol, four fouls on that last possession. Game in, game in hand, but still playing hard, and he's going to get rewarded right here. Okay, eight points here. The Another step forward in in a long journey for Mexican basketball. Uh, without a doubt. You know, they uh, they will host the two. 30-point Team USA lead here in Barcelona, Spain. DeRozan kicks it out. Another open look for Clay Thompson. Good ball movement that time. In here. And uh, good call. Heck, you know what? I own. He just got in the, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Not even sure if that was a full. Now an assistant on Team USA, Tom Thibodeau, called this the ideal setting for him to come back in as they work the alley-oop to Andre Drummond. Then maybe it was throughout the second half. Oh, you're right. Good effort. It's a good test for Team USA in terms of guarding some good offensive action, playing against that zone. Coach Valdeo Milos should be very proud. Dominant runs in the history of international play. In just about any sport, they will start off the round of 16 in Barcelona here with a convincing win over Mexico on to the quarterfinals on Tuesday, 3 Eastern on ESPN. They get the winner of the Slovenia-Dominican Republic game. 20 points for Steph Curry. 15 points at the half. They pour it on in the second half en route to an 86-63 win. They move on to the quarterfinals at the FIBA World Cup of Basketball. Balanced scoring today, but Fran, the man who led the way, especially in that third quarter, was Steph Curry. Yeah, he's starting to get his groove on in terms of knocking down shots. He was terrific with the basketball. Splash Brothers combined for 35, Clay Thompson, but it was Steph Curry putting on a Curry-like performance for 10 minutes in that third quarter, and that really opened things up for Team USA, gave them breathing room with which uh, Mike Krzyzewski could then empty the bench and get ready for Tuesday's quarterfinal game. 20 points to lead Team USA in scoring, 7 of 10 from the field, 6 threes, 4 assists, 2 steals, either led or tied for the team lead in all of those categories. Australia game could be interesting as well. Well, you've been watching the FIBA World Cup round of 16, the final score, Team USA, 86-63 winners. For Fran Fraschilla, I'm Kevin Connors. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.